Hi everyone, my name is Maria Barquis and I invite you to join me on the Bible Sketchbook Project. The Bible Sketchbook Project is my attempt to demystify the Bible for kids and their grown-ups through a sketching, storytelling, journaling practice. Today's study is going to look at who's good and who's bad according to the Bible. To understand it better, I will be taking help from one of Hollywood's biggest success stories, Star Wars. My favourite movie in the saga is Episode 3, where Anakin Skywalker, the hope of the future, turns to the dark side. Three episodes later, when Luke Skywalker is faced with a similar dilemma as Anakin, he is able to break free and bring victory to the good side. While it is easy to see the difference between the good side and the bad side in movies, in reality, it is not so clear. That's because movies make us believe that the hero is always good and the villain is always bad. It makes for great storytelling. In reality, though, there is a bit of Anakin and a bit of Luke in each of us. The Bible says in Ephesians 6.11, put on the full armor of God so that you can fight against the devil's evil tricks. Who was the Apostle Paul talking to in the above verse? He was talking to all of us, helping us understand the reality of the devil. In other words, the ability to be kind or greedy, loving or angry, is there in everyone. At any given point, our actions, our words, even our thoughts, is a reflection of two forces at play and the victory of one over the other. One is the dark force that causes pain and the other is a force of love that spreads peace. Who or what is the dark force? Any attempt by the devil to rob us of peace is the work of the dark force. The devil has many different names according to the Bible, sometimes referred to as Satan or the enemy. The devil is very clever and he uses many different ways to deceive. At times it comes in the form of gossip or through fear, a fear of loss or a fear of failure or in the form of pride, making you overconfident in your own abilities. Recognizing them as schemes by the devil is an important first step. Next, as scripture says, we defend ourselves wearing the armor of God. Why is it called the armor? Because this is a battle, a battle of the spirits. And there are three simple things we can do to build our armor. First is through faith, second through prayer, and third through praise. First and foremost, you have to believe that there is a God watching out for you. Next, you pray without ceasing. You pray when you are anxious, you can pray when you're on top of the world, you can pray when you need guidance, that way God knows that you're depending on Him and not your own abilities to fight the devil. The final piece we looked at is praise. Praise allows us to acknowledge our blessings and humble ourselves before God. Hope that was helpful. Now we are going to represent all that we just learned through a fun art activity. I hope you'll join me. Let's start by dividing the page into four sections for the title, the Bible verse, a drawing and a section for notes.
Now we are going to add the date and the topic. Next, we are going to write out the verse we just studied. You can add style or pattern to your letters, or you can add some color. Have fun, be creative, and use your imagination. Now we're going to make a portrait of ourselves using simple shapes. This is another example if you want to show action or a prop. We're trying to make a quick sketch, so don't think too much about making it perfect. Now on a separate sheet of paper, make a list of things that give you peace, bring you joy, and that you're grateful for. It could be general or specific. Go ahead and fill the portrait with the things we just listed. Here you can use words or drawings. Color it in using pencil or markers and use a thin marker to write an outline. And finally, give your portrait an outer ring. Now make another list. This one is going to have all the things that take away our peace and joy. We are going to take the things we just listed and find ways to represent it using words or drawings around the ring. These are distractions that are trying to keep you from enjoying the things that you're blessed with. Sometimes the things that bring you joy like school or work could also make us sad or mad. So you could have it in both places. So you need to build your armor, your protection, so the disturbance, the distractions and the darkness lurking around is controlled and the light from within can shine strong and bright. Pick three of your favorite colors and color inside the armor. This is our faith our need for prayer, and to remind us to thank God daily. Finally, you could add things you learned from this lesson and things to remember moving forward.